So now, I'm convinced this car is absolutely real, but the first question everybody's gonna ask me if I buy this car from you is, Morning, Alex. Morning. We're going to continue our GM high performance rescues. Sweet. That trend's been going really well this year. I'm still crazy excited about that LS6 Corvette. Yeah. Now we're going to go after a 1970 LT1 Corvette. Super cool. desirable car. Yeah. 350, 370 horse, and they're actually very rare. Uh, put it in perspective, there was like 8,800 Z28s built in 70 and a half, mm -hmm. and only 1,283 LT1 Corvettes. Almost as rare. Now, I talked to this guy several times on the phone. I'm convinced it's real, but he lost the paperwork. So we're going to have to check every code, yeah. every casting number, every date code, because the last thing you want to do is buy a fake LT1 Corvette, especially me. Yeah. Hopefully, we can see the tank sticker. Well, I have a secret weapon to try to do that that I haven't seen somebody else do. Okay. I'm bringing it with us, so that is a very good idea to try to look at the tank sticker. As you know, people won't let you drop, cut the exhaust yeah. off and drop the gas tank in their garage in their Corvette. Yeah. Even if the guy would let us do that, it's a couple of hours. And it's lunch time. As everybody knows, I love to eat. Our coffee walk meals that are kind of all in are my favorite time of the week. But I call those our earned meals because you got to earn it. You can't eat like that every day. I continue on with fact that it's gone great. Here's my latest box has just arrived. I'll show you one of my latest favorite meals. It's kept my weight in check. They're healthy, they're quick, and they're easy. Head to factor75.com or click on the link below and use code COFFEEWALK50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next box. That's code COFFEEWALK50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. I do feel better. We're always on the move here. Quick, quick at Collins Brothers and a coffee walk. It's certainly nice to have these in the refrigerator. I'm not the only one eating them right now. I have definitely lost some weight. I feel better. And I don't have to mess around with chasing fast food every day at lunch. I'd much rather have a healthy meal. I'm earning my cheat meal at one day a week, sometimes two. So these are the ones that I picked for my latest favorites. Now you gotta check out this white cheddar chicken. Again, factor75.com or click on the link below and use code COFFEEWALK50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next box. That's code COFFEEWALK50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes with factors ready to eat meals so you can get back to doing what you love this spring. So far, the meals that I've eaten, and Zach can attest to this, I've eaten the whole thing and haven't left any for anybody. Tastes boring. Factor is your solution for fast, premium meals without the need for cooking. But grab your cup of joe and let's go rescue another very rare high performance Chevrolet. We're in Temple, Texas. The name of the place is Auto Trends, owned by Mr. Daryl Peel. We've done Mustang business with him over the years. Uh, he's been here, I think, for over 30 years. Let's go check out a LT1 Corvette. Remember this place, Alex? Yeah, we've we been here four, like, five years. four or five years ago. Daryl, how are you, sir? Doing good, sir. It's been a while, four yes. or five years, probably. Probably so. Uh, Alex was with me last time we were here. I, mean, I was thinking about it earlier. The last time we actually made a run was to Round Rock on some Corvettes. There you go. Yeah. Let's go see another one. Oh, that's terrible. Walk through a bunch of Mustangs to get to the Corvette. Wow. Still got some nice stuff. We'll try not to scroll off on that for a moment. All right. Okay. Ooh. Keys are in the door. Let me get your heart pumping when you see the LT1. So we actually discussed this car for quite a while on the phone. Yes, sir. Uh, you've known the car for a while. 
and you believe the guy that you got it from had the paperwork, but he has misplaced it. Right, at this point I don't know, because he's uh, fighting leukemia, and the chemo treatments have actually affected his memories. And uh, so we're hoping he can dig it up. Um, I don't have any guarantees of that. Right, you told but, me that. But, it, you know, try to, like we went over the day with just documenting numbers on the motor, the rear end, the transmission. So that's what so, we're going to do now, since he did, there's no paperwork, we need to check all these date codes on this car, make sure they line up. So Ox and I are going to do that. Uh, try to do it quickly, it probably won't go real fast. Alrighty. And then I brought a secret weapon to see if it's got a, get a tank sticker. Alrighty. Alright. Sounds good. So the color code's 984, which is Daytona yellow. Appears to be Daytona yellow. Trim is 403, which is black leather, which is very cool. And this is the first year for the deluxe interior in the 70s. It's got power windows. Right. Now, uh, Daryl's been in the car business for a long time. You said you looked at it, you believe it is original paint. Yeah, okay. as far as I can tell, most I don't see any overspray lines or anything that would indicate that the cars had paint work on it. Let's see if we get lucky over here, but let's see the engine code. Possibly a little bit of trace is on there. Wow. Yeah, but there is some overrun on here with some numbers. We'll get to that in a minute. We might be able to make that out. But we'll start on the engine pad. It is clean, so we're gonna be able to get to that easy. I do like this, so CTK is 350, 370 horse, manual transmission, transistorized ignition, 0615, so that's June, six months of June, right? Yeah. 15th, 1970, and there's the VIN. And what I like about, if you pull this up and look at it, see where there's rust in the pad? Yeah, it's never it, been decked. It's never been, well, you get all the brooch marks are here. Yeah. And the rust is consistent down inside the numbers. So I'm going to say this is a, has not been restamped. No, that looks really good. But there's only 1,287 of these cars. About 780 of them were coupes. But I believe there's well more than 1,287 of them now. Right. <laughs> like 69 Z28. Right, like 69 Z28. So. The next thing to do is we know we need to see if we've got a June cast date on this motor. Okay. So typical fashion, I don't have my flashlight. Everybody's gonna love that. I bet you Daryl's got one. <laughs> Let's check uh, check carbon number. So that's a very good start. It looks the pad looks correct to me, the stamping looks very good. Um, I do know what the list number is supposed to be on this carburetor, Alex. What is it? 45.55, and it is correct. And boy, whoever restored this carburetor did a heck of a job. It looks really good. Day kind of zero. One second. So that would be May 1st of 70? I believe so. So it looks like, if that's correct. Yeah. So the carburetor is May 1st of 70, which predates the June on the motor. I'll give that a thumbs up too. That's an important carburetor. Now we need to get we need to get a flashlight back here and check the casting. You looked at this, didn't you? Yes. That's what is it, 397-0010? Well, that's what all of them are gonna be. Right. Uh, the date codes. What, the date code you can read from the passenger side easier. Okay, there's a timestamp here. see what the day code is. All right, Alex, you can see it really, really nice. It looks to me that it's F100. So, wow, um, talk about lining up. F is June, June yeah. 10th of 70. 
So on the money. So those two, carburetor, pad stamp, casting number, That's all line up. That's huge. Um, I'd like to check the rear end. I think we can do that without putting on a lift. Exactly. <clears throat> you need to go and get the car out for down there. Oh. Let me take that. Oh, yeah, you're on it. All right, let's check that out. Well, just by looking at it, it's, it's got the big posi in it, which generally came in the 454 cars. But I think you and I discussed this. All the LT1 cars are 370. Yeah. So the, the LT1 cars all got the big posi, which generally came with the 454. Yeah. So you can just see that. But what is so I didn't get the rest of it, but here's the date code, 617 of 70. June 17th of 70. So everything lines up. Yeah. Uh, Transmission. Daryl, you had it on the lift, right? Yes, sir. I've got a picture here of it, actually. Let me pull it up real quick. Okay, so we got, check this out, Alex. Very, very clean bin. Oh, that's clean. Transmission matches the car, and so it's a B, so that's going to be an M21. Correct. Uh, four speed. It's pretty bulletproof to me. What do you that's think? The correct car. Original paint. Now, what would be really neat, Alex, is you know how we did on the LS6? See when you see these numbers here? Oh, you could yeah. just barely. What you would want to see is a CTK. I don't know that we can quite make that out. And that looks like a start to a C to me. Sure does. But it is no, the original it, sticker. Yeah. Uh, it sure looks like it's original paint. The seats have not been done, Alex. 39,000 miles. Here again. Looks right to me. <laughs> Take your passport. I don't know if you would say when you're under looking at the rear end how clean the chassis is as far as frame rails, all yeah. that. It's a very clean, unrestored car. It's not a... You know how a lot of these get real rusty up here, Alex, on this A-pillar? Yeah. Come look how nice this bin is. Really, really nice. Looks really good not too. rusty this looks like whoever owned this car knew what they had took good care of it CT on this D go. CT on the decal I didn't even think about checking that yeah which has not been replaced right. you tell that's and you're not gonna, um, obviously not a repop well I'd say it's real does it run yes sir can we start it yes okay it's been sitting up a while. It loads up a little bit when it's cold. So I'm probably going to need carburetor checked over. And like I say, he had had it, and with the cancer, it probably hadn't ran much in the last year at least. Um, I did put about 20 miles on it when I picked it up from him. Usually one pump's enough. It floods pretty easy. Lockout still hooked up. So now, I'm convinced this car is absolutely real, but the first question everybody's going to ask me if I buy this car from you is, do you have the tank sticker? Correct. <laughs> so, let's see if it's still on. I highly doubt that you can see it, but you did poke around and it's on there, right? You can, you, see, you can see remnants of a sticker in this one. Over I, here? I, I actually, it's on the right side. Right. This. It's on the right side. You can see the corner pieces of it. The most of the middle is gone. Um, so what we're gonna do? So we're gonna put this camera in there. Cheating with the borescope. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's cheating or not, but all right, Alex, I'm gonna let you handle that. So about right here, that area. Yeah, that area is where. Now we'd have to get extremely lucky to say LT1, but right. I don't think there's enough to, the tank, looking for the bottom tank's never been out of the car or anything like that, so.
that seal is pushing it up, so it, it's basically just reading like this. Well, let's push the seal down hard. There we go. Here, we hold that. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it's there, but a lot of it's missing. See, part of it right there. Past it, see if you can see more. It's all right, keep searching. If you see, if you can read anything, just stop. The problem is, as you know, Alex, when we yeah, drop these, and most of them are, when they are there, they're very, very dusty. A lot of times you can't read it anyways. There's some of it's there, right? Oh yeah. Can you read any of it? No. But you can tell it's a lot of it's disintegrated. Ooh. Yeah. So the tank sticker's not in real good shape, but I'm convinced the car's real. How about you? I think it is. It's pretty bulletproof. Alright. I'll just pay what you're asking for. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. Appreciate it, sir. You've always described it right. Right. But we might get lucky and get it back if we can just read anything on the tank sticker. Right. Uh, but I tell you research. what, as far as the car the date count. codes being just absolutely dead on would be very difficult to fake that. Right. Next question. Yes, We're starving. What's your favorite local place to eat? Uh, the, kind of the restaurant that a lot of people, local people, is there's, uh, Jody's Family Restaurant. It's actually been in business since 1963, second generation. It's kind of like chicken fried steak, hamburger, all the good Texas eat. Wow, that sounds that. good. And it's older than I am. That's old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there, uh, can we park over there with the trailer? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Well, we're, uh, I'm going to go get my uh, paperwork, get you paid, and then Alex is going to Start fighting, getting this on the trailer. All right, sounds good. Let's roll. Loaded up, let's go eat. All right, so our waitress we just talked to has been here for 41 years. That is pretty impressive. Yes. Come on, loyalty. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I love loyalty. They have some cool stuff over here. I think I'm going to yes. try most of it. Okay, we're going to start off with the bacon wrapped shrimp. The appetizer. Yes, ma'am. The fried gator, frog legs, onion bloomer. And then we'll do the sampler of three items. I think we'll try the uh, Joey peppers, fried pickles, fried tomatoes. Okay. And then it says meatloaf Monday through Wednesday. You still have meatloaf? Yes. Okay, I gotta have meatloaf for sure. Mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes, please. And did you want a salad or green beans? Or? Salad would be awesome with blue cheese if you have it. Got it. This is gonna be a good lunch. And you, sir? I will get the chicken fried steak. And what two sides would you like? I will Some get left. the mashed potatoes and the green beans. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna get a half order chicken fried steak, fries, salad, no tomatoes. Cheese and bacon bits with ranch, please. I love about the small country places that the food is good. They always take pride in their salad. I mean, look at that. Look at the blue cheese, it would be heaven. Thousand Island, you said that's handmade or homemade. Ranch is homemade. This blue cheese looks great. Got a bunch of chunks in it. It's a great way to start off this monster meal. <laughs> Frog legs. 
I think I'm going to try the spicy dip for the frog leg. Pass that over here. Oh, that's right there. Oh, that's the spicy one? Yep. All right, Daryl, I hadn't had a frog leg in a long time. I've never Is there had a bone one. in there? You've never had one? I've never had one. <laughs> Alex and I are good. Yep. <laughs> We're good. Wow. wow, look at that. That's a beaut. Looks like chicken. Yep. Looks like chicken, tastes like chicken. It's hot. I'm just waiting for you to start going ribbit. This is the sampler. There you go. Mmm. Frog is great. And the spicy dip is spicy. Pardon me while I debo my frog leg. You know the rule, if we ever go to a restaurant and they have fried green tomatoes, you have to. I always order them. Very few restaurants in Dallas have these. That is awesome. All right, bacon wrapped shrimp. It's good for that. So far, I'm loving your uh, recommendation here, sir. It's good. Let's see those. You're gonna eat a shrimp? Yeah. Uh oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Zach, the shrimp is fantastic. Would you pass me the alligator, please, sir? Yes, sir. We don't get that every day either, do we? No, we don't. Looks like everything has its own sauce. This is gator sauce. It's I actually don't is. know what it is. I just made that up. This is awesome. I'm hungry. We're going to roll right through this. Sure looks like a lot of work. It's just like vinegar. Imagine that. I love me some homemade meatloaf. It's got to be the best pie, right, Alex? I think so. Dip it in the mashed potatoes and the gravy. Mashed potatoes, gravy, and meatloaf. Yeah. Cool. A little bit of food heaven right here at Old Jody's. All right. All right. Great recommendation, sir. What did you order? The half order. I got the small portion of the chicken fried steak. That's the half order. That's the Alex half. got a regular portion, I think. And there's actually a chicken fried chicken. Bigger portion. Chicken fried steak. Yeah, you can get the extra large one. Thank you. That that looks extra, great. Extra large. All right, outstanding. All right, anything else for y'all? If I could have a little bit more unsweet tea, that'd be fantastic. All right, get after it, gentlemen. I might be it. able to get one more bite out of this thing. Tell you what, if you guys are hungry for some home cooking, my stomach even feels good. Maybe a little more. That's some outstanding meatloaf. Alex eating all his. Almost done. Daryl's working on I'm it. Working on mine. Zach's is gone. Boom. It's the first time I've seen Zach actually clean his plate. I know. Like ever. And it's not a burrito. Not a burrito. It's not, <laughs> not macaroni and cheese either. <laughs> He's growing up. <laughs> he is growing up. <laughs> now on to dessert. Peach cobbler. Everybody's got their own spoon. Everybody's got to try a bite. Oh, that looks fantastic. Good grief. What do you think, Alex? Looks good. Can I do it? All in one bite. Hot, crunchy, creamy. Outstanding. Fried Oreos. We got a six and pack. The Twinkie. Fried Twinkie. Oh, gotta try that first. I don't know, should I do that first or last? I'm gonna do it first. So at least I've got powdered sugar and a little bit of honey on it. Looks like a Twinkie inside. I sure hope my wife doesn't watch this episode. It's like eating a piece of butter with sugar on it. It actually some tastes butter. really, really good. Who's next? Oh, I'm good. You want to try it? I'll try the Oregon though. I'll, I'll try it. Is it a double stuffed one? No, but it's still really good. I've never had a fried Oreo either. It's hot. Well, Daryl, 
I will have to say this is an outstanding recommendation. I have really thoroughly enjoyed myself. Right. <laughs> wow. So on our list of things that Kelsey gives Zach and I to do, we're supposed to put a coffee walk sticker on all the restaurants we go to, and we generally fail on that, just like I never remember a flashlight. This time, Zach brought it. Let's go stick it. Are we in a hurry? Get that truck running out. I gotta go get my hair cut tonight. Okay. Walk up, hit the QR code, take you straight to Coffee Walk. Thanks, sir. Well, good afternoon. Bright and shiny day and a bright and shiny Corvette. So beautiful. So the prior two owners on this car were adamant that this is original paint on this car. Right. Is it? I believe it is. Okay, I do too. You haven't seen any tape marks, you haven't seen any overspray, any inconsistencies, and when you're buffing it, your pads turn yellow. Absolutely. Okay. So, what have you done, what have you not done so far? I, a huge difference is looking at the T-tops, of course. So we did this side of the car so far, right? Yes, sir. Look at that, compared to what y'all saw earlier in the video. It's very choppy, huh? It's very, very choppy. It's definitely brighter now. So, a 40,000 mile original paint, one of 1,287 LT1s, but just to get to this level, what are you, two days into it? Two days. It's because we've got to be careful and you don't want to burn through it. That's right. Right? Yes, sir. Look at the rear deck. Super bright compared to how it was before. We left the gas cap so you can see the transition. That has not been polished yet. And again, look at, look at the difference between here and here. Looks great, Josh. And you put, check it out. So we did our NCR shipping report, found out this car came from Virginia, even though it had Texas tags on it. So we went and found a proper 1970 Virginia license plate. I like to make things as, just like they were when they left the factory as close as we can. Now, I guess Alex drove it over here. We bought it and ran, but it wasn't running very good. It did not. Running good now? Oh yeah, it runs now. Alex got it squared away. All right, looks great, Josh. Stay on it. Thank Outstanding. you. Worth the effort and time. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Where'd this Corvette come from? I don't know either. Can you show it yet? I don't know. That's up to uh, Zach. So these are coming soon. What did you have to do to the LT1? Because I know uh, when we started buying it, we didn't drive it because it was running a little bit rough. Yeah, it was running rough. The carburetor was leaking down. Had to rebuild that. Uh, Found out, had the wrong spark plugs, fixed that. You know how common that is? I know. Really common. And then uh, just took it on test drive. It runs and drives great now. So we good to go, me and Zach can jump in it? Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Good luck with these two. Are they alive? This one is, this one's done. Okay. So here's a full on cold start. It had been started, I think he's been buffing on for two days. Uh oh, somebody hit the windshield wipers. Started right up. Very good cold start. You can actually cancel your seatbelt. How cool is that? If you didn't want to wear it back then, it won't sit there and buzz at you the whole time. Again, a 350, 370 horse, solid lifter. Power windows. Looks like Alex has driven it some. It's rolled over 40,000 miles. I think it was a 39, 95, I don't know. He's definitely put some miles, it was in the 30s. Look down the middle of the hood there, I don't know if it translates on camera, but the color is totally different. Power windows are working. Let's get some heat in this motor before we run it very hard, but these are really, really stout. So the Chevrolet collector guys out there watching the market, the 70 and a half, Z28s with the LT1 motors in them have gotten really expensive. But you're talking a pretty big number of production, I'd, around 10,000, and here you're looking at 1,287. It's a four-speed car. I'd rather have this car on a T-top than a Roaster because it's so much power. 
the convertibles of the 68 to 72 era seem to have a lot of cowl shake. Tax working, look at the massive oil pressure. Battery's charging, as you can see, the water temp's still way down. This is a full-blown cold start. And these cars, even 20 years ago, were tough to find. I mean, these are, I think even since the inception of the LT1, they've been collectible because they were so rare. I don't remember the exact number of Chevrolet dealerships back in 1970, but I think it was around 6,000. So if you think about that, not even every dealer got one. Man, this car sounds mean. matching and we checked them all original paint it's good it pulls really hard you see the whole front end coming up these are great cars about any collection out there when you've got an unrestored numbers matching LT1. Again, I hate to be repeating myself, but having one with original paint on it is really cool. When you're looking at it, you can see the lack of cracking, the lack of checking like you would expect. But the car is really, really brightened up a ton just as we polished it. So this car has been sitting since around 2011. That's not a massive rescue like a lot of the ones have been sitting for 30, 40 years, but I think it's neat to get this car back out in circulation. And I know there's going to be somebody proud to have this. And I think Daytona Yellow is probably one of the best colors for this car. I think Alex got it dialed in pretty good. systems are a proper go except for the windshield wipers not sure hate messing with these 60 to 72 wipers I'm sure you guys out there have messed with them in the past know what I'm talking about leave it here in the sun just real quick so to see that the change in the paint shows but there's the LT1 test drive we rescued another one I'm pretty proud of this this one's gonna go hopefully to a new owner pretty soon it's not advertised yet but will be soon as always, please like, share, and follow. And most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.